My father used to tell me he felt responsible for what Corley's done to this city. That he was going to undo everything he'd helped Corley achieve and we'd finally leave this fighting behind. Didn't exactly work out that way, did it? I left ten years ago and I'm never going back. I'm done with my father's war. Now me and Ab do what we can to get by. It's not exactly an honest living. Well, I could have gone a lot better. But these days, you need to be a little resourceful. Could have gone a lot worse, though. Look. Oh, come on. I had it under control until they started shooting. Would you just relax and take a seat? We can't afford another one of these for a while. You're gonna have to take it easy. I know. But you might be in trouble if we don't find something more permanent pretty soon. Hello, Quinn. Zoe. Hey, Ann. How are you, big guy? What are you doing here? I, um, uh, need you to take a look at one of your father's old projects. Corley is up to something huge this time. We're close. Hey, you know something? I appreciate your dropping by, but the last time you needed my help, I woke up in a prison cell with a bullet hole in my gut. So excuse me if I'm not leaping into your arms right now. It's important, Quinn. Can you just take a look? You might recognize something. You know I wouldn't ask if there was any other way. Just think about it. I'll give you a few minutes. Son of a bitch. Okay, just uh, let yourselves in. We know she was here. That drive belongs to Coralie, and I'm afraid I'll be needing it back now. Well, um... We'll just have to come get
I'll leave you alone for five minutes. Come on. Let's get this to Dad's lab. Come on. Where's Amp? Hey! Quit fooling around with that guy. We gotta go. Now! Well, at least you haven't forgotten how to show a guy a good time. <laughs> <laughs>